good morning good evening or whatever time it is in y'all's part of the world but today we're going to be talking about traps and what kind of traps you should but should buy in order to go after what animals you're trying to catch and uh so y'all stay tuned and stick with me and we'll get to talking about it. i'm trying to keep an eye on my dog he's running around i don't want him running the road yeah so anyway here we go let's talk let's talk traps trap types and why to pick them all right, well, if you watched my last video, I'll go ahead and post that up here in the top and the left or right side. I'm really not sure which side it's gonna pop up on, but if you watched my last video, I dyed and waxed these MB550s. And as you can tell, the wax is set in pretty good. Oh gosh, I dropped it. <laughs> I gotta get the wax off of here off the trap. But these are my go-to traps. These are what I, all, I will always run. I will never run anything else other than this MB550. However, when you look at the price of the MB550, it's a little expensive, okay? I'm not gonna lie, it kinda, drew me off a little bit as far as the price goes but you get what you pay for okay 100 you get what you pay for these right here are a very very durable hold on let me break the wax on this thing oh gosh all right yeah these are a very very durable um <clears throat> i'm gonna screw a little closer because it's gonna be a close to personal but these are very durable trap as you can see these plates right here on the back are very very thick it's actually d double plated to where you have a really solid backbone of the trap and as you can see these jaws <clears throat> the thickness of these jaws and i'm showing you this because i'm gonna show you another trap that is not as expensive but the jaw thickness is huge and i use the uh offset jaw is what i was looking for uh offset jaws which leaves the gap right there um but these traps i originally bought them with four coals and the coals are right here on the back of the trap whoops i hit the sand but they're on the back of the trap right here so originally i had four one two three four but the when the four i uh, using the four of them it was really a pain in the butt sorry about that i had a buddy calling me um but it was really a pain in the butt to try to set a four coal trap because it was just so hard and to push these jaws down you know to set the trap um and also when i caught a bunch of foxes uh it wouldn't really i don't know the the strength of it and them jerking on top of that because animals jerk when they get caught in traps it's just it's just uh, i mean it's obviously what happens um it would damage their foot a little bit and with coons it would i mean the coons would i mean it just they didn't do good with the coon at all coons are crazy on traps i don't know if people realize that or not but they're absolutely crazy but uh it just wasn't good for their feet so i went with the taking these two cool springs off and um you know, in two or three years after these traps are, you know, five or six years old, uh, they may need that fourth set, those third and fourth set of coals, and I'll bring the life strength back to them as since I've used these so much. But now I'm going to show you a lot cheaper trap, but there's a big reasons of why it's a lot cheaper. Hold on. If you guys have not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button because this year I'm telling you we will catch the absolute mess out of coyotes. Last year I caught 46 coyotes, and I've got several videos uh posted on my page y'all go ahead and go check those out if you're trying to learn how to um trap coyotes for the first time i will post that i'll add that uh link to that video how, how the easiest way to trap coyotes uh, at the end of this video so if you're just now a beginner and you want to learn how to trap coyotes and uh, you already have your own traps go ahead and skip to the very end of this video and go check that video out and it'll show you the easiest way to catch a coyote so uh let's get back to it okay here we go i got two other traps <clears throat> right here i'm gonna talk about and i'm not bashing these companies i'm just telling you what i like to use and what's good for your money okay so first off uh we have the is a duke number two okay number two and i mean it's an okay trap you can catch stuff in it but i'm just gonna show you the difference okay you see that back plate you see how thin that is you see how thin the jaw plates are on that? And how thick the uh, the levers right here on the sides are? And not to mention the dog, which is this part right here that connects to your trap pan, is not night latched, which you have to night latch it yourself, make it your own night latch in order for it to be night latched. Um, the MB550, it comes, pre, it comes night latched. I mean, if you're ready, a MB550, when you get it in the box, Take that baby out, get the grease off of it, put some wax on it, and throw it in the ground. You're catching coyotes all day long. These you got to do prep work too. So this is a Duke number two. I'm just going to show the differences right there. You see the thickness in the jaws? All right. Well, all right. See the, well, it's got dirt all over it. See the thickness in the base plates 
which is this area right here. I'm looking at these two spots. And then also you can tell where the chain's dangling from. The chain is uh, centered on the MB550 and it's got a swivel made onto the trap. So no matter which way that coyote turns, the thing will swivel perfectly fine. This has no swivel and it's on the side. So the whole time the coyote instead of pulling straight off of the trap like this one's designed here, he's pulling himself off the side, okay? It's, it's just not as good of a trap, y'all, okay? I'm sorry. All right, here's a third number, third trap. So I bought the Duke number twos first, and I was just like, they're okay, but I really don't like them that great. And then I was like, I'm going to buy a little bit beefier trap. But I didn't want to spend the money on the MB550s because they're expensive. So I went with the Duke 1 and 3 quarter, which is a little bit, just a little bit uh, heftier. And I'm going to go grab that real quick. Okay, here is the little bit beefier. Like I said, I didn't want to buy the uh, <clears throat> MB550 because they're expensive. So I went with this. Here's a Duke 1 and 3 quarter, okay? A little bit, I mean, a little bit thicker jaws, okay? A little bit uh, better I don't know. I can't remember what this part's called. But I'm just gonna call it uh, the levers for this point. At this point, the chain is in the center, and it's got a swiveling point, which is always good. Um, and the base plate right here has got an extra extra piece of bar welded onto it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the difference in that and the MB550. So both of the anchor points on the bottom in the center of the trap with swivels, which is always good. You always want that. The thickness here's the thickness of the MB550 versus the thickness of the duke one and three quarter and then the base plate differences which the base plates i mean they're pretty similar very similar but the base plate on this one is the exact same size as the bottom of the trap as you can see on this piece it's just literally a, a metal bar that's been weld welded to the uh bottom of the trap okay um i mean the one and the three quarter if you're gonna buy them one and three quarter is hands down way better than the duke number two uh, and as you can see when I bought these traps here, uh, the Duke one and three quarters, when I went from the Duke number twos, I put the, uh, I went and bought the four coil because the two coil on the Dukes is not that crazy uh, strong. So I went with the four coil on the one and three quarters. Well, same thing was happening with the one and three quarters. Uh, I didn't like them because I couldn't, I wasn't catching a lot. I was having a lot of misses and a lot of, tra uh, a lot of traps that are just, uh, they just weren't quick to fire and i hated i'd always set these i always go to set these traps and i'd get it almost set right and then pop the trap would go off because it's not light latch okay um and i just talked to other trapper a few other trappers i knew it was trapping is not very popular so i was very lucky lucky to know a few and the first few that i met or talked to they always ran these they ran the duke one duke number twos and then they switched to duke and three quarter three one and three quarters and then eventually we all went to mb 550s like i said and the people I was talking to weren't very experienced, but I didn't have anybody else to go to. And online, when you go to online and talk to people, they always try to sell you their product. So the reasons that I went to the MB550s, they're a lot more sturdy trap, okay? They, um, they're a lot heavier. I mean, even when you pick these two up, the heaviness of the two of them is insane. Uh, they're a lot beefier as far as the traps go. I had several. I mean, I, I mean you're talking to somebody that I spent... I bought 12 Duke number twos, didn't like them, and now I spent money on, I was like, well, I'm going to buy half a dozen of the Duke one and three quarters. I used those, didn't like them a lot. Then I'm seeing a one a MB550 from another person, and I was like, wow, I want that. And ever since I bought MP550, I've bought two and a half dozen of them. So I know the money is expensive to buy MB550, but... It's totally worth it. Real quick, if you guys have used any other trap other than the three that I listed today, those are the only three I've ever used. Uh, if y'all have used any other trap other than that, uh, please comment down below what kind of trap y'all have used. I'd love to know some input of what you guys, I mean, maybe you're in another, another state. I'd love to know some of y'all's feedback and what you think on those three traps or what your favorite trap to use is. So uh, y'all go ahead and leave me a comment and I trust me, I'll read every single one of them. I love it. So uh, y'all let me know what y'all think and let's get back to the video. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this MB550 real quick. Uh, so look, bear with me because I'm a little rusty. I haven't been setting them all year long. <laughs> so try to get this wax to break off real quick without setting my finger on off into it. Oh, y'all bear with me.
Okay. Now I want you to listen. Now the wax is on here, so I might need to scrape the wax off before I try to do this on the night latch. Okay. Here we go. I want to just listen as I set this pan of the trap. Just listen to it. Y'all hear that? I'll do it again just to make sure that you do hear it. All I'm doing is pushing this pan down. Listen. Do you hear that that time? A little bit louder. All right, that is the night latch. That is when you know that baby is ready to rock and roll, okay? And it's literally just, look how much I moved this pan. Maybe I'll make it where I can see, you can see it. See how quick that was? All right, let me set, let me grab the Duke over here and I'll set it real quick. Okay, here's the Duke uh, number two. All right, and also, you see how these jaws don't slay level on this Duke number two? It won't even let me set the daggum dog. And this thing's caught maybe a couple of coyotes. So when I first started, I wasn't that great at it. So I didn't catch many. All right. I'm just, I'm telling y'all, the Dukes are the, the Dukes are just... I hate to say it but they're garbage all right now watch how far i have to push this thing down you see you see what i'm saying there's no night latch <laughs> that baby is it's not as it's you're better off spending your money on the mb 550s that's what i'm trying to tell y'all all right now here's the one and three quarter one four coal which is a lot stronger y'all can talk crap for me using my knees but i do not want my hand going in these non-offset jaws Oh, yeah, that one's just not gonna get set because the dog's bent. So, yeah, just take my word for it. I'm telling y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Also, what I like to run on my MB550s is a compression spring, a shock coal, whatever the heck you want to call it. It's literally just a spring. As the animal pulls, it shrinks the. It takes. It takes the, instead of it being a complete absolute jolt on the animal with just the anchor in the ground and the chain to the trap it uh instead of just being a jolt it actually gives it has a little give on the trap when they're pulling on it also here in north carolina if your chain length is longer than uh, to your chain length to uh the trap is longer than eight inches you have to have one uh to be legal there is a ton of different kinds out there on the market and i'll post a link down at the bottom uh so I, where, where i buy all my trapping stuff and supplies and uh on the shock springs and everything there's a uh, like i said it's a bunch of different kinds but this is the one that i use and i'll let you, if you get a look at it like i said i will link it down the bottom below in the description below and uh like i said i'll link everything the traps the anchors the and, and the compression since we're just talking traps right now i could get on a huge list of what i buy but i'll um link these three down in the bottom so that way you know what to buy when you're going for a setup i'm telling you uh, long story short, just to, like I said, I just want to get on here and talk traps in case anybody was on here uh, debating on getting in trapping this year. Uh, go ahead and spend the money on the MB550 because in the long run, it'll last longer. They do not need to be uh, adjusted in any way. Um, and you don't have to night latch them. They come pre night latch. Like I said, when you get these babies in the mail, get the grease off of them and put some uh, coat of wax on there. Put an anchor and a compression coil or a shock spring, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, I can't remember the exact name of it. And throw it in the ground and catch coyotes all year long. So, uh, thank you guys so much for checking me out today down here in Carolina Coyotes. So, uh, y'all stay tuned for more videos coming up. Hopefully, we'll be catching some coyotes here soon. We ain't got, we're less than a week out now. So, uh, y'all take it easy and we'll catch you later.